Well, here is my 2010 Canarm Industrial. If you've watched my previous video that I had made of this thing, two in one video where I recorded this and the 36 inch at the same time, I was going to make individual videos of each, but then this one locked up. I never used it after that video for the rest of the year, and then I think in the fall, in September, I think, I was going to turn the ceiling fans on when I pulled my vehicle in. Like I drove it around, got it nice and warm, and then I pulled it in, and then I'd turn my ceiling fans on on a lower speed, kind of bring that heat that the car is giving off. Anyways, I'm rambling off. I wanted to do that, and one of the fans didn't work, so I just unhooked it and used the 36 inch. Finally, just yesterday, I took it down, and yeah, the motor was like, it would turn like this much, and then it would just stop and kind of forced it past, and now it just kind of gets stuck in places. The bearing makes a horrible amount of noise. Uh, it must have been all the rain leaking on it over all the years because my shop roof leaked like a sieve for the last four or five well probably 10 years but it got really bad within the last four or five years pretty much when i put this up and yeah it got dripped on and it just it didn't phase it for the longest time then out of nowhere one day i went to use it after not using it for a few months and it just was locked up <laughs> Yeah, if you look in there, you can see, like, rust and stuff. That bearing is definitely shot, but I don't care. I'm just going to clean it out real good and drip some oil in there and call it a cigarette. I'll put it back up. How many years it went getting dripped on, and then finally, right when we shingle the shop, it decides to lock up. Okay, here we go. I haven't turned on yet here to see how much noise it makes at a full RPM. <laughs> Ooh. That's bad, eh, kitty? Oh, well, it's loose again. Just let her run. Oh, my poor fan. It was new in 2010, and now she's just used up, dirty piece of junk. There's the blades. That's the top of them. That's how dirty they got over the course of that many years. Wow, does that ever sound bad? Oh. Wow. I'll turn it down. Oh, look, there's a friggin' butterfly or moth or something in, under there. How the heck he got under there? <laughs> oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's one that fell off of it when I brought it in. Well, that's right down. It probably stalled. I have the limit set really low on that thing. Oh, it didn't. Or did it? Can't even tell. I think it did stall. I noticed this under it. That was never there before, and then all of a sudden, one day it was just there. Finally, when I went to use them there, was locked up so I wonder if that's like some grease that dripped down from that bearing or something 
I don't know where the heck it would have dripped out of though. Like it was coming from that direction. There's no traces of it anywhere else except for here. Although I don't think that's grease. It's not, it's not greasy. It's just hard. Maybe it has absolutely nothing to do with the bearing. It's just a coincidence. Yeah, I remember when I bought this thing. I was so excited. My first industrial. Brand new. I think I paid like 90 bucks for it or something. Not very long after I got my driver's license. I just noticed now they don't have the can arm sticker on them anymore. Like this one here has the can arm sticker. It's kind of cool. But I guess they cheaped out on the newer fan. Well, that motor definitely loosened up now. I should just see how long a fan motor will go with a totally shot bearing. Then I'll have the next world's loudest ceiling fan. I guess I should try to preserve this thing. Since they don't make the industrials with the brass ring anymore. Not that that's really that friggin' special, I guess. Like, this one wasn't even put on straight, as you can see. I don't know. Why did they have to quit making that brass ring? Like, come on. It just adds so much character. But I guess they gotta change it somehow, eh? How will you know what era it's from? These blades need major balancing. I guess I'll give it a shot of oil. Okay, got her clean enough. Gotta apply some oil. Even that was a bit much. But since she's so messed up, I better give her a little extra drop. Definitely got louder. I guess I didn't get all the dirt out. You can hear it crunching away in there. I don't know, she's spinning like she should. I'm going to throw the blades on and I'll run it with the blades all messed up.